Somalia's average IQ is 67, and here is why it's so low. The foundation is a 49% inbreeding rate, a tribal norm used to consolidate power. This inbreeding depression restricts the gene pool and lowers cognitive potential before conception. Even outside this genetic pool, poor maternal health stunts brains in the womb. Only 12% of women get prenatal care and 1.5 midwives per 10,000, far below global standard, leave fetal malnutrition untreated. Once born, the deficit is locked in by a chronic nutrition gap. With one in four children stunting, the brain is starved of protein and minerals during the critical first 1,000 days, causing permanent, irreparable damage. A constant infectious disease load from malaria and parasites then forces a biological trade-off, diverting brain-building energy to the immune system just to survive. Chronic trauma from war causes 30% PTSD and 35% anxiety, while lead neurotoxins strip 3 to 15 IQ points, adding final layers of environmental decay. The education deficit locks the cycle, as 3 million children out of school never develop the abstract reasoning patterns these tests require.